Good day. Preventing safety mishaps is crucial to our success here at Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division. The products and services we deliver to our nation's warfighters are just as diverse as our workforce. And if you look around the base, you'll see there are several areas for potential mishaps. PCD's work centers range from job hazard category A, high hazard, to B and C, moderate and low hazard, with over 2,000 civilian, military, and contract employees. I would like to talk to you about safety hazards that may occur in the workplace and what you need to know to prevent mishaps from ever happening. At Naval Surface Warfare Center Panama City Division, we believe every service member and civilian counts. Safety is one of three tenets, not because safety is a condition of employment, but because it's key to our success. It is every employee's responsibility to follow safety procedures and to maintain and support a safe working environment. From aviation safety and forklift driving, to slips, trips and falls, or texting while driving, employees who work here at PCD are exposed to many types of safety hazards. However, it's the due diligence that will keep each and every one of our employees safe. As the commanding officer of the Warfare Center here in Panama City, I charge each of you, military and civilian, with taking safety seriously. Naval Surface Warfare Center Panama City has achieved the mishap reduction goals set by the Secretary of Defense and maintains annual mishap rates below like industries in the private sector as reported by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. As of October 1, 2013, there were 17 recordable injuries during a calendar year 2013 and two OSHA reportable injuries for that time frame here at Panama City. While that number is lower than the national rate, one injury is too many. So we must continue to strive for zero and maintain a zero safety mishap record. To ensure each new Warfare Center Panama City Division employee understands the importance of safety measures at the command, Panama City Division employees, civil service, contract, and military, are all required to complete an initial occupational safety and health indoctrination class at new employee orientation. New supervisors, test safety observers, and test directors are required to take supervisor safety training within 180 days of assignment. Safety training is also facilitated through the Navy's Enterprise Safety Applications Management System, or ESAMS. Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division, is committed to ensuring and protecting every employee's health, and as required, we measure our program's effectiveness annually. We evaluate key work programs and processes with exposure to hazardous materials, hazardous noise levels, and ergonomic hazards to help determine ways to either maintain or improve employee safety in their workplaces. Two critical safety programs of which all employees are a part of are the PPE program, or Personal Protective Equipment, and ORM, or Occupational Risk Management programs. Naval Surface Warfare Center, Panama City Division provides all required PPE based on the recommendations from annual industrial hygiene surveys. Supervisors are responsible for employees using PPE in accordance with established procedures and manufacturer recommendations. The safety office ensures PPE meets safety standards. Personnel are reimbursed for purchasing safety shoes and for their prescription safety eyewear where occupational exposure hazards exist. However, N95 dust masks are issued under the voluntary use program for humanitarian reasons upon request. ORM is the standardized risk management approach to all naval operations to reduce mishaps and optimize operational mission success and readiness. 100% of Warfare Center test directors must be certified through the Test Safety and Review Committee and have completed individual and supervisor ORM training. Employee and supervisor ORM training is available on Navy Knowledge Online. Because several systems being developed at the Warfare Center here in Panama City are integrated into the U.S. Navy's fleet, 
and subsequently go into developmental and operational testing, system safety personnel must continue to work closely with the test and evaluation teams. This partnership will ensure identified hazards are credible and any previously unknown hazards are identified when the system is in the field. ORM assessments have played a key role in the approvals of many past year test events at Naval Surface Warfare Center Panama City Division, and they must be included in future tests and certifications to ensure the products and services we deliver to our customers are safe. So what can employees do to avoid safety hazards? You can ensure you are trained to perform assigned tasks safely. Keep your workspace well organized and clean. Use your PPE when required for the job. Know the safety rules and policies that apply to you. Report any and all unsafe conditions to your supervisor or the safety office. Failure to do any one of these things could lead to one of us being injured, damage to equipment, or both. To remain a leader in the littoral warfare and coastal defense, we should all work, live, and play safely because every service member and civilian counts. So remember, thank safety first. Thank you.